ठीक है तो देवर थ्री क्वेश्चन टू दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इंडिविजुअल प्रोस्पेरिटी टूडे विल एंश्योर कलेक्टिव पॉवर्टी टूमोरो It was a dynamic question, very dynamic, contemporary base. So, in this, what we have to cover? There were two things that we had to compare: individual prosperity. Basically, it is talking about protectionism. The protectionism that we have understood is rising in the world. The protectionism and the aggressive nationalism that is rising in the world. The debate that it won't. नहीं पी थी देर वॉज नो टेस्ट एक्चुअली आई कुड नॉट कम ऑन फ्राइडे ना आई हैड सम एमरजेंसी तो आई कुड नॉट डेवलप द टेस्ट तो दैट्स वाई देर वॉज नो टेस्ट ऑन दिस सैटरडे वो कर लेंगे दैट वी विल डू नेक्स्ट सैटरडे डोंट वरी सो दिस क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैड टू डू द टेस्ट फोर दैट अ लॉट ऑफ यू हैव सेंड सम ऑफ यू हैव नॉट लेट सी सो individual prosperity today will ensure collective poverty tomorrow so the key thing that uh, this question is asking you to compare to compare what to compare two things individual prosperity that is protectionism plus nationalism that is on the rise versus collective collective poverty tomorrow means collectiveness matlab multilateralism multilateralism mane the institution of wto world bank imf un if you know un uh the action that should be taken at the world level so we have to compare both which is better individual prosperity through uh, protectionism nationalism or multiculturalism so intro intro mein iska to iske bare mein likh sakta hai isme dekhiye isme intro could be a bit complex Uh, the statement is given by Raghuram Rajan. So, if you want, you can state about Raghuram Rajan, but you, then you have to talk about what he's trying to say. So, here, what you can do the intro. Uh, what is the central topic here? What is the central topic here? Online people, what do you think is the central topic? We discuss the intro is always about central topic. Trade agreement, individual prowess. Yes, uh, PT is to yes. Khyati and PT both are right. Uh, if you can uh, make the central topic here, trade agreements because they are being diluted, uh, and then you can make uh, globalization also because this is in the context of globalizations. So both may the central topic here, which I believe better will be globalization. But nonetheless, you can also talk about the. कोई बात नहीं क्वेश्चन दूसरा कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता बट यहाँ पे आप यू कैन टॉक अबाउट ग्लोबलाइजेशन और यू कैन टॉक अबिट अबाउट रघुराम राजन हिमसेल्फ इफ यू वांट और यू कैन टॉक अबाउट इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग दिस अग्रीमेंट बेसिकली तो ऐसा वास्ट टॉपिक यहाँ पे कोई क्लियरिटी नहीं थी कि व्हाट यू व्हाट दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट और आल्सो इफ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन टॉक अबाउट व्हाट प्रोटेक्शनिज्म नेशनलिज्म मल्टीलेटरिज्म यू कूड हैव डिफाइंड दी सी टर्म्स आल्सो व्हाट इज मल्टीलेटरिज्म व्हाट इज प्रोटेक्शनिज्म व्हाट इज नेशनलिज्म तो उसको आपको देखिए थोड़ा लॉजिक लगाना पड़ेगा वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वट इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन इट्स इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन टॉपिक तो ऑब्वियसली बात है इंडिविजुअल यहाँ पे कौन बन जाएगा नेशन विल बिकम इंडिविजुअल और अगर आप चाहते हो तो यहाँ पे यू कुड है यस रघुराम राजन का लेकिन प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस रघुराम राजन लाइक अ स्कॉलर यू कैन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल रघुराम राजन हैज इम्फेसाइज दिस 
प्रोग्राम राजन हैज गिवन दिस इन स्टेटमेंट इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द राइजिंग प्रोटेक्शनिज्म अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इस तरीके से आप प्योरली रघुराम राजन को एक्सप्लेन नहीं करेंगे आई टोल्ड यू द्यूमरस इंट्रोडक्शन कुड बी देयर यहाँ पे कोई फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई टोल्ड यू यू कुड है प्रोटेक्शनिज्म नेशनलिज्म करंट पॉलिटिक्स टेक्स प्लेस इन न्यू लिबल वर्ल्ड हाउ एवर देर इज अ राइज ऑफ However, there is a rise of. It, however, it is argued that there is a rise of. What is rise? Rise of protectionism and nationalism that directly challenge the multilateralism. This way, we can also write it. You got the point. Here, there is no clarity. It is vast, and you can pick any as the intro. But stick to the topic. Either globalization, you could define. You could define international trade. You can talk a bit about Raghuram Rajan. You can talk about protectionism, nationalism, or तक तो बात ठीक है अब मेन बॉडी में बॉडी आई हैड आई अंडरस्टैंड यहां पे इंट्रो वॉज अ बिट टफ आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट हेयर द इंट्रो वॉज अ बिट टफ बट बॉडी आई बिलीव इज इजी बॉडी में किसी को भी प्रॉब्लम हुआ लिखने में यू फाइंड इट यू फाउंड इट हार्ड टू राइट द बॉडी एनी वन ऑनलाइन फाउंड इट हार्ड टू राइट द बॉडी Did you find it hard to write the body? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, इसमें देखिए body easy थी because we had already done this. If you remember the free trade, fair trade, we discussed 1960s, 70s. They tried to open the border, then now they are closing because the table has been filled. If you want, you can put Emmanuel Wallerstein. You can, uh, you can put the theory of rise of soft dictators. So, so many theories that we have done. You can directly condense them, but now this question is more about art of writing. यहाँ पे whatever content you need, you have. But यहाँ पे art of writing become very prominent. कि how you will arrange the content. तो इसमें सीधी सी बात है. You will talk about two things. पहला what is happening. First, you will talk about what is happening. In this, you will talk about people like Trump. who has called wto as a disaster for america here you will talk about people like you will talk about new liberalism that we live in a new liberal world and people are rising against new liberalism okay you will talk about rise of soft dictators this is what is happening sir fair trade yeah sir is an argument of fair trade sorry argument of fair trade ha bilkul yahan pe likhenge pehle likhe what first you will write what is happening then you will write consequences कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज में यू विल राइट दैट यू बिकॉज दिस स्टेटमेंट असर्ट करनी कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज में यू विल राइट हाँ वो तो उसकी हैडिंग है द आर्टिकल द बुक ही रोड उसकी हैडिंग है बिल्कुल लिख सकते हैं उसी की तो बात करेंगे इसमें What is happening? You will talk about everything. The Roman Rajan has listed the list. Rise of monopsonies. We have discussed it. Rise of monopsonies, inequalities, soft dictators, dilution of neoliberalism, all and all. So, this is happening. Around half of the content will go there. Then you will talk about consequences. Consequences. You can take example like First World War, World War One, and between World War One and World War Two, all countries were protectionist. they adopted protectionism as a policy and consequent was second world war after second world war we realized that protectionism cannot ensure prosperity so we moved toward integration that's how un wto imf and world bank started because we believe that protectionism protecting everyone every country working for itself may not be in the interest of the nation uske baad you can put the argument of new liberal themselves that more trade means more growth more growth means more money more money means more prosperity बात समझ में आ रही है यू विल फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग देन कंसीक्वेंस अल्टीमेटली कंक्लूजन कंक्लूजन में व्हाट यू विल डू यू विल असर्ट द स्टेटमेंट बट विद बैलेंस यू कैन से फ्रॉम अबव एनालिसिस वी कैन सी दैट इंडिविजुअल प्रोस्पेरिटी मे एंश्योर यू विल नॉट से विल विल माने डेफिनेट यू विल से इंडिविजुअल प्रोस्पेरिटी मे एंश्योर कलेक्टिव पॉवर्टी ठीक है मे नॉट विल Yes, will mane you are saying it will happen. We cannot say it for sure because we have seen different sides here. Consequence where you can also write various things. People are protectionism. Protectionism sometimes is good, but temporarily it is good. I will not write. I will not write. Third person will write. All the answer I told you. 
एनीवे इट्स अ वेरी इनोवेटिव क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे देर इज अपने आप को क्यों बताना है मुझे बताना है ठीक है देर इज वास्ट पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ इनोवेशन ईयर चलो नेक्स्ट वॉज इजी दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज ट्रिकी दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज ट्रिकी बट नेक्स्ट वॉज इजी आई बिलीव ये तो डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन था यू कुड हैव रिटर्न सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज डू यू थिंक ग्लोबलाइजेशन इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर एवरी वन आंसर इज नो वी अरे अरे हाँ भाई पता है तुम सीरियस खाए हो जाते हो बट वट आई एम सेंग इज दैट ऑफकोर्स ग्लोबलाइजेशन नॉट बेनिफिशियल फॉर एवरी वन फॉर विच अच्छा ये क्या हो फॉर विच बट वी बट वी विल डू इसमें सेंट्रल टॉपिक क्या है इजिली आइडेंटिफिएबल सेंट्रल टॉपिक इज ग्लोबलाइजेशन यू विल डिफाइन ग्लोबलाइजेशन मेन बॉडी में यू विल राइट इज डायरेक्टली यू कैन राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पर डायरेक्टली यू कैन पुट एमेलाज थेरी directly you can put uh, gunner middles theory cumulative causation so north and south the debate on globalization is globalization bahut to debate hai this scholars are debating globalization you can put as many theory as you want how many books are there in psr i don't get the point i will see four oh. ओके यू हैव रिसीव पेपर यू हैव रिसीव पेपर वन बुक दे हैव पेपर वन बुक पेपर टू में यू विल हैव यू टू बुक्स ओनली फॉर सेक्शन ए एंड सेक्शन बी कंक्लूजन में यू विल से इट इज पार्शियल इट इज गुड एज वेल एज बैड चलिए एनी वे तो इसमें इट्स इजी आई डोंट थिंक किसी को प्रॉब्लम हुआ होगा एनी वन फाउंड इट हार्ड टू राइट एनी वन ऑनलाइन it was a easy question first question was innovative that is innovative sir don't know the question is kaun sa neoliberalism is a fixed philosophy i would have seen neoliberalism is a fixed philosophy yahan pe aapko kya karna tha what you have to do you have to write the i wallerstein world system theory this question is on i wallerstein's world system theory ha pehle you will talk about i wallerstein or you could talk about neoliberalism both you can talk about ठीक है यू विल टॉक अबाउट आई वॉलेस्टिनो यस रोहिणी यू हैव टू ऑलवेज यू हैव टू राइट बोथ साइड्स तो व्हाट यू विल डू यहां पे देखिए वेरी सिंपल है थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज आल्सो वेरी इजी यू कैन इंट्रो में इदर यू कैन डिफाइन द न्यू लिबरलिज्म इटसेल्फ और यू कैन टॉक अबाउट आई वॉलेस्टिन व्हाट ही हैज टॉक्ड बेसिकली बॉडी में वेरी इजी था फर्स्ट यू विल स्टार्ट बाय आई वॉलेस्टिन्स वर्ल्ड सिस्टम थ्योरी देन द ग्राफ देन कोर पेरिफेरी सेमी पेरिफेरी यू विल राइट एवरीथिंग and then you will write about limitation of criticism limitations less criticism yahan pe you can write way scholar for example gordon brown we wrote the former uk prime minister we wrote we talk about him he said uh, you can also talk about that not developing countries like india and uh, china they have mncs which are now more powerful than the mncs of the west so some limitation you will write it is not like that everyone is being damaged कुछ लिमिटेशन इट इज और अनदर लिमिटेशन इट इज टू मच इकोनॉमिकली कंसेंट्रेटेड थ्योरी हमने समझा था द प्रॉब्लम विद दिस इज इट इज टू मच इकोनॉमिक इट इज नॉट टेकिंग अकाउंट ऑफ अदर फैक्टर्स तो इस तरीके से यू विल राइट लिमिटेशन क्रिटिसिज्म एंड देन कंक्लूजन सो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज प्रॉपर्ली ऑन व्हाट आई वॉलेस्टीन एंड हिज क्रिटिसिज्म ऑफ न्योलिबरलिज्म एंड देन हाउ यू विल कंक्लूड फ्रॉम अबव एनालिसिस वी कैन से दैट न्योलिबरलिज्म कुड बी कंस्ट्रूड एज अ फिक्स्ड फिलॉसफी बात क्लियर है people online clear tell you anyone has any question so far please tell me then we will move on सो टूडे वी विल डू चेंजिंग इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिकल ऑर्डर फर्स्ट थिंग वी विल डू इन दैट इज कोल्ड वॉर द चैप्टर नेम इज चेंजिंग इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिकल ऑर्डर द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी विल डू इन दिस इज That is cold war. पहला तो क्वेश्चन आता है वट इज कोल्ड वॉर 
you have to understand the word what is cold war i believe everyone hear this so what is cold war Yes, there's a lot of things. No direct war happened. Yes, a war that is not direct. What happened? Cold War, they can depend upon the who is the scholar. Basically, we assume that it was coined by Bernard Baruch. Bernard Baruch. He coined this term. It was later on popularized by Walter Lippmann. Uh, it means various things to various scholar, depending upon which scholar you are talking about. Various scholar have defined it in a various manner. So, so, but Cold War, ko we can basically understand. Cold War is basically the relations between two superpower. Cold War is the relations between two superpower that is USA and USSR. From roughly you can say 1945 when Cold War, when World War II ended. To 1991 when USSR disintegrated. Largely, we can say Cold War basically is the era of relations between two superpowers, their action, counteraction, and reactions. Okay. Uh, so it became popular. Okay, it's a very uh, emphasis story. It's my, I don't think I have to tell you much already. So this is basic understanding Cold War. And why it is called cold? Because there was no direct confrontation. But remember, any event from 1945 to 1991 was not influenced by Cold War. Any event, be it all the wars India had, India-Russia war, sorry, uh, India-Pakistan war, India-China war, India, uh, you say India-Bangladesh wars, all the wars that India was a part of, the Vietnam War, uh, the Korean War, uh, the Cuba crisis, everything that happened in the world scale, every small to big thing was a the was good pro quo or tit for tat, you can say. It was a tit for tat between USA and USSR between 1945 to 1999. But there was no direct confrontation. A reason after why? Why it was a cold war? We understood what? We have understood what is cold war. Next question that may come is why there is a cold war? Ajaj jo karaya tha, usse Bangladesh Liberation War hi to kehte hai. Hmm. Very important part. Uh, this is all our theories. Uh, they may not give you much maja. The fun will come when we will do India and the world. Usme ye sari theory ko we will put. So it will give you better understanding and will give you better uh, emphasis. Ki, oh, this is what is going on in the world. Uh, Cuban crisis karenge, Ashwin abhi karenge. It will come later. Cuban Missile Crisis is a very important part of Cold War. <clears throat> I was asking ki why, why, but we have understood. Basically, Cold War is the relation between two superpowers between 1945 to 1990, 1991. Their actions, uh, counteraction and reactions, basically. But the question is, why it was a Cold War? Yes, because of their various interpretation. According to realist scholar, the, it was cold, not a hot war because of nuclear weapons. Why it was a cold war? It, why it was a cold, not a hot war? According to realist scholar, because of nuclear weapons. And you will tell me what the liberal will say. What could be liberal justification of cold war? We understand liberals are idealists. Okay, they believe in powers of ideas. And that's why they are called as idealist by the realist. This we understood. So guess what liberals would have said. We understand what is liberal. So what if you would be a liberal, put yourself as a liberal. The term we call original position. You will do that uh, John Rawls theory. Mein. 
put yourself as a liberal and then think what how you would have explained cold war why how you will explain it was not a hot war बिल्कुल सही ख्याति लिबरल सेस इट बिकॉज ऑफ रैशनैलिटी लिबरल से बिकॉज रीजन डोमिनेटेड द पैशन द वॉर द टू सुपर पावर विच कुड हैव डोमिनेटेड बाय पैशन गॉन टू अ वॉर but dominated by reason they understood going to a hot war will destroy both countries and then they think because of the power of ideas they say ideas like collective security like your uh, what was that uh, security community like functional linkages because of these ideas the liberal say because of these ideas the cold war remained a cold war not a hot war clear वॉटर लिपमन वॉटर नहीं वॉल्टर है ये इस चीज को ये एक्सप्लेनेशन इट वॉज कोल्ड वॉर कॉइंड बाय बर्नार्ड ब्रूच पॉपुलराइज बाय ही मेड इट पॉपुलर द टर्म ही मेड इट पॉपुलर इट वॉज पॉपुलराइज बाय वॉल्टर लिपमन ठीक है व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड इट इज कॉल्ड कोल्ड नॉट हॉट वॉर व्हाई व्हाट वी अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज कोल्ड वॉर वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड सो बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू रियलिस्ट बोथ कंट्रीज हैड न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स एंड इफ दे वुड हैव गोन टू अ वॉर इट मींस म्यूचुअली अश्योर्ड डिस्ट्रक्शन हम समझते हैं मैड तो दे से बिकॉज ऑफ न्यूक्लियर वेपन दे कुड नॉट डायरेक्टली कंफ्रंट सेकंड लिबर्स वी अंडरस्टैंड लिबर्स टॉक अबाउट रीजन they talk about ideas so they use the same theory they said because of rationality of two leaders to not go to a devastation they say the two leaders that is two countries were dominated by reason than passion and that's why they did not prefer a war second thing they say also because we had ideas like collective security like social security community i believe sabko ideas yaad hai we have done this ideas collective security woodrow wilson security community who gave this idea whose idea was this security community scholar name chalo first name mai bata dun karl k a r l karl sir name bataiye check kiye jaega i believe karl dewsh's ka naam Kaldus D D U T U S C H Kaldus. Okay. Next, functional linkages. Who gave functional linkages? David Mitrani and Ans Haas. We have talked about. So they say two reasons. Because reason dom. Ha, wo hi Kaldus ki baat hai. ठीक है. Liberal se we have two people because rationality dominated passion and they did not prefer a war. Also, they say because we, मतलब liberals, we evolved various ideas. like collective security reflected in the form of united nations like social security community reflected in the form of european union asean and jo bhi dame hote hain and functional linkages through cooperation and all i hope everyone is clear the explanation of realist and liberals for keeping the war cold not hot all in people clear ab next thing that we have to debate is what it was about what it was about so we have understood two questions about cold war first what is cold war second ठीक है लिख लेंगे अह तो वी हैव अंडरस्टूड टू क्वेश्चन अबाउट कोल्ड वॉर फर्स्ट व्हाट इज कोल्ड वॉर सेकंड व्हाई इट इज कोल्ड नॉट हॉट वॉर थर्ड वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इज व्हाट इट वाज अबाउट इट वाज अबाउट The domination of what? Khyati uh, is writing something. Any question, Khyati? Okay. Uh, what it was about? It was about basically global domination. Global domination. 
global domination of which two ideas there were two ideas at the world level capitalism and communism thoda we have to go to the paper one so let me give you a very brief idea actually this war is about a thesis a thesis that karl marx gave karl marx gave the thesis of end of history end of history wo nahi francis fukuyama wali different hai ise samjhiye karl marx said that end of history is basically what is basically communism karl marx basically said end of history is communism why we understand one thing pehla hota hai aapka feudalism feudalism as a system was challenged by capitalism capitalism as a system was challenged by socialism and communism is a variety of socialism it's so we have understood already feudalism was replaced by capitalism capitalism was replaced by socialism and communism is nothing but a variety of socialism what is communism it is marx specific socialism how the socialist world marx predicted and the proper definition of communism is classless stateless society so basically this is what karl marx said karl marx said the history of hither the history of hitherto societies matlab the history of all the societies that have taken place on earth is the history of class struggle the statement given by marx was the history of all society is the history of is the history of class struggle let's see how we will not go to the too fast feudalism mein what are the two classes in feudalism people online what are the two classes of feudalism फ्यूडलिज्म आप समझते हैं ना सब लोग लैंडेड एरेस्टोक्रेसीज होती है हमारी यस बिल्कुल सही भाग लॉर्ड्स एंड सर्फ लॉर्ड्स एंड सर्फ इन इंडिया केस यू कैन रिप्लेस दैम टू जमींदार जमींदारी सिस्टम दैट इंडिया हैड इन ब्रिटिश पीरियड और बिफोर मुगल पीरियड से इट स्टार्टेड इंडिया में जमींदारी सिस्टम दिस फ्यूडलिज्म स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग विच एम्पायर कुछ आइडिया किसी को इट स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग गुप्ता एम्पायर इंडिया में मॉरन के बाद फिल्म गुप्ता गुप्ता एम्पायर गुप्ता कब से में डेवल में आ गया गुप्ता एंशियंट में पढ़ा जाता है <laughs> चलिए कोई नहीं कोई नहीं बट आई वैसे गुप्ता पीरियड में स्टार्ट होता है यू विल अंडरस्टैंड अपॉ समानता सिस्टम वो वहां पे पढ़ लेना बट वहां से स्टार्ट होता है पैलल कैन बी क्रिएटेड यहाँ पे अलग है तो फ्यूडलिज्म इज बेसिकली मिडेबलिज्म मिडेबल पीरियड इज नोन फॉर इज फ्यूडलिस्टिक टेंडेंसी वेर यू हैव लॉर्ड इन सर्व two classes are there they are fighting in capitalism what are the two classes we all know capitalist and the working class in socialism there will also be two classes that is a capitalist and the working class the difference here is in capitalism the capitalist are the beneficiary in socialism working class is the beneficiary yahan tak pehle mujhe bataiye sabko clear online people up till here any confusion hmm nahi nahi wo wo francis fukuyama ki theory ke bare mein wo hum karenge at the end of cold war some theories were given one of them was francis fukuyama theory wo karenge अभी हम बेसिस समझ रहे हैं डोंट वरी वी विल डू एंड ऑफ हिस्ट्री थीसिस प्राइमरली एंड ऑफ हिस्ट्री थीसिस आपका आता है पेपर वन में द टू थीरीज एंड ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड एंड ऑफ इडियोलॉजी थीसिस दो थीसिस हैं बट यहां पे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज दैट एंड ऑफ हिस्ट्री थीसिस वाज गिवन टू एक्सप्लेन द एंड ऑफ कोल्ड वो ठीक है अच्छा ऑनलाइन पीपल अप टिल हियर क्लियर सबको प्लीज टेल मी फ्रांसिस फोकोयामा हाँ बिल्कुल 
बट उसमें आप ये भी एक्सप्लेन करेंगे ना कॉम्युनिज्म को बिकॉज ही बेस्ड इस थियरी ऑन कॉम्युनिज्म कॉम्युनिस्ट आइडिया वो ही मैं आपको समझा रहा हूँ हाउ इट हैपन सो दिस इज वॉज गोइंग ऑन तो मार्क्स सैड दट हिस्ट्री ऑफ ऑल सोसाइटीज इज अस्ट्री ऑफ क्लास स्ट्रगल यू कैन सी दे क्लास चेंज Lord change, capitalist, capitalist change by somebody. Even in socialism, there is working class. So history will keep class conflict, but only in communism, because communism is a classless, stateless society. So he said, communism is the end point of history, and this was the fight of Cold War. Cold War was a fight to prove who is the end of history. Is it as Marx predicted? Communism is the end of history, or as capitalists argue, they are the point of history. जो फ्रांसिस को कोई आमा की थेरी बनती है. सबको क्लियर है what was what the Cold War was about? It was a ideological war. याद रखिएगा it was not a strategic and other war. It was a ideological war. It was a war between two ideologies, capitalism and communism. Both were trying to prove that we are the end point of history. We are the end point of history. सिंपली आई बिलीव सबको याद है थीसिस एंटीथीसिस सिंथेसिस थीसिस एंटीथीसिस सिंथेसिस दैट हीगल्स डायलैक्टिक्स हीगल्स डायलैक्टिक्स तो कैपिटलिज्म विल बिकम व्हाट अकॉर्डिंग टू कार्ल मार्क्स अकॉर्डिंग टू कार्ल मार्क्स कैपिटलिज्म इज थीसिस कॉम्युनिज्म सॉरी सोशलिज्म इज एंटीथीसिस कॉम्युनिज्म इज कैपिटलिज्म इज थीसिस socialism is antithesis and communism is synthesis out of the fight of socialism and capitalism communism will be born as a final stage yahan tak sabko clear hai please tell me and then i will tell why is sara paper one ka hai i am just giving a reference so that you can understand cold war theek hai short note likh lenge koi baat nahi theek hai How why why Marx called his thesis as uh, how why Marx called his idea as synthesis because he said first what will happen according to Marx capitalism will be there then a socialist revolution will take place capitalism will be there a socialist revolution will take place and this socialist revolution will be a temporary stage. it will not be a permanent stage first capitalism then socialism which will be a temporary stage and after this you will get communism that's how marx predicted things will happen capitalism mein who control the state capitalist socialism mein so in social revolution who will control the state working class after capturing the state by working class after capturing the state will bring reforms in the state that is they abolish the state and once the state is abolished according to karl marx state maintains classes state ensure that somebody is a working class somebody is a capitalist but once they will reform the abolish they will abolish the state and ultimately communism will be the reality clear how this stage will take place but in real life what happened revolution never passed this stage in real life ussr was and china both countries mein the capitalist against social revolution came but the socialism never transformed into marx communism तो यहां पे रुक गई बात हमारी इसके लिए लेनन जिम्मेदार है एंड हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस रीजन लेनन बिकॉज ही एलिनेटेड मार्क्स आइडिया मार्क्स नेवर प्रोडिक्टेड द काइंड ऑफ रिवोल्यूशन ही ब्रॉट एंड ही एनी वे डिड नॉट प्रोडिक्ट रिवोल्यूशन इन सच कंट्रीज यहां तक बताइए सबको क्लियर दिस इज पेपर वन बट नंदा लेस यूजफुल एनी क्वेश्चन सो फार अश्विन भव्यांशी ख्याति प्रीति रोहिणी शीतल ठीक है तो दिस इज वी है दिस वॉज द फाइट तो अब तीन चीजें वी हैव अंडरस्टूड पहला व्हाट इज कोल्ड वॉर इट इज बेसिकली द इरा ऑफ रिलेशन बिटवीन यूएसएसआर एंड यूएसए बिटवीन 1945 टू 1991 
second why it is called with different explanation really say because of nuclear weapon label say because of the ideas we made like collective security and all and because of rationality third we understood what was the real fight that it was a ideological war between capitalism and communism both were trying to prove that we are the end point of history so these are the three point we have understood let, now let's see the evolution of cold war acha yahan tak ek kaam karte let us let us write down then we will do the fourth point that is evolution of cold war चलिए लिख लेते हैं प्लीज आई डोंट नो एवरीवन इसीलिए तो बुक दी जाती है सो नोट्स लिखे हुए हैं एंड आई टोल्ड यू इट इज इन नोट्स फॉर्म अगर आपने देखा हो तो भेजे तो है भाई 6 चैप्टर मिले नहीं आपको यही तो है ये तो सातवां चैप्टर है भाई <laughs> मिल जाएगा चलिए लिखिए प्लीज एवरीवन तो चेंजिंग इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिकल ऑर्डर इज़ चैप्टर नेम इसमें पहला है आपका कोल्ड वॉर फर्स्ट इज कोल्ड वॉर चैप्टर नेम इज चेंजिंग इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिकल ऑर्डर नंबर वन इज कोल्ड वॉर विद इन कोल्ड वॉर में पहले लिखिए सब हेडिंग वट इज कोल्ड वॉर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज कोल्ड वॉर विद इन साइड डाउन कॉइंड बाय कॉइंड बाय बर्नार्ड बरूच कॉइंड बाय बर्नार्ड बरूच एंड पॉपुलराइज्ड बाय coined by bernard baruch and popularized by walter lippmann coined by bernard baruch and popularized by walter lippmann comma ha uh, l i p p m a n walter lippmann comma it is the state of it is the state of relations between it is the state of relations between ussr and usa state of relations between ussr and usa between 1945 between 1945 within bracket end of world war 2 between 1945 within bracket end of world war 2 and 1991 within bracket disintegration of ussr disintegration of ussr Stop. Next, write down why it is cold. Next question: Why it is cold? Why it is cold? Why it is cold? Two copies. Isi me likhiye. Why it is cold? Me likhiye. There are there are various explanations. there are various explanations about about the cold war there are various explanations about the cold war full stop some of the following some of the following aims to explain some of the following aims to explain the coldness of the war aims to explain the coldness of the war number 1 realist number 1 realist with inside down realist argue realist argue that because 
of nuclear weapons the list argues that because of nuclear weapons the war could not become hot because of nuclear weapons the war could not become hot next liberals okay. liberals liberals may write down liberals argue liberals argue that rationality dominated the passion that rationality dominated the passion full stop it means dominated the passion full stop it means it means the cold minds prevail over cold minds prevailed over hot minds cold minds prevail over hot minds hot minds full stop also also the ideas like also the ideas like collective security also the ideas like collective security comma security community or community also the ideas like collective security comma security community comma functional linkages functional linkages and so on functional linkages and so on ensured ensured that the war does not become hot ensured that the war does not become hot take <clears throat> okay, a full stop next para in next para write down however however there were numerous conflicts however there were numerous conflicts which were like a proxy numerous conflicts which were like a proxy of these superpowers so like the proxy of these superpowers like the proxy of these superpower full stop for example india pakistan wars for example india pakistan wars okay so this we had next likhiye what this war was about next question is what this war was about let me write down usa was a capital usa was and is usa is a capitalist country usa is a capitalist country and the evolution of communist russia usa is a capitalist country and the evolution of communist russia started a fight started a fight of ideologies started a fight of ideologies full stop both ideologies both ideologies 
were trying to prove both ideologies were trying to prove that they are the end point of history were trying to prove that they are the end point of history full stop uh, first theek uh, hai ek ki bataiye i believe sabko samajh mein aata hai what is ideology everyone understand the word ideology आइडिया से ड्राइव हुआ यस हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम समझिएगा इडलॉजी इज वट सेट ऑफ आइडियाज एक्चुअली इट वॉज अटिटी स्टार्टेड बाई काल मार्क्स काल मार्क्स एड दट माई थिंकिंग इज साइंटिफिक एंड एवरी वन इज इडलॉजी ही सैड माई थिंकिंग इज साइंटिफिक एंड एवरी वन इज इडलॉजी So since then, this uh, theory has become very popular. Everyone tries to prove that other person is talking about logic. I am talking about science. So the this tradition was started by Marx, but then his own Peter. I told you Lenin is known as the Peter who denied his master. The way we know uh, J. S. Mill ko. J. S. Mill ko kya wo hota hai? J. S. Mill is the Peter who denied his master. That is, who gave utilitarianism? William. आइडियोलॉजी रिमेम्बर करिएगा आज के समय में इडियोलॉजी इज ए नेगेटिव सेंट वेन इट वॉज क्वाइंट आई थिंक इट वॉज आई एम फोर्गेटिंग द नेम ऑफ काउंट ट्रेसी काउंट ट्रेसी दैट पर्सन coined this term ideology but he was trying to emphasize ideology is basically a uh, science of ideas to develop a society based on reason but over time the term ideology has become associated with set of ideas kind of propaganda aaj ke samay mein ideology is a negative term ye samajh gaye is, is samay mein ideology is a negative term jaise hum distinguish karte hain bureaucracy in civil services bureaucracy is a negative term civil service is a positive term bureaucracy mane rule of the permanent servants balki we live in democracy rule of the people so bureaucracy is considered as antithetical to democracy or i always tell you ki aap it does not matter how you coin jaisa hum usko kaise kar rahe aap kehte mera haath jal gaya to jala hua hai wo nahi hua i told you it does not matter what matters is what the perception you make among the people that will be the reality ideology was coined as a different idea but over time the reality of ideology is set of ideas it is not associated with science clear hai online people clear this nuance distinction between science ideology and all यू एस हेल्पिंग यूक्रेन प्रोवाइडिंग वेपन नेम ऑफ ऑन नेम ऑफ इडलॉजी इन वट सेंस कैपिटल डिनाइल ऑफ रशियाक्स पावर देखिये नाउ वी आर नॉट दैट्स डिबेट वी विल हैव लेटर की आर वी न्यू कोल्ड वॉर पहला वट इज दिस न्यू कोल्ड वॉर दिस वट इज टू आई डोंट थिंक इट्स अबाउट इडलॉजी इसको हम और एक तरीके व्हेन वी विल डू इंडिया इन द वर्ल्ड वहां पे हम समझेंगे अच्छा बिकॉज इट्स डेमोक्रेसी नो नॉट एट ऑल अश्विन नॉट एट ऑल यूएस हेल्प एवरी कंट्री दैट इज इट्स पर्सनल पैट फॉर एग्जांपल ऑल मोनार्कीज ऑफ गल्फ इज यूएस पर्सनल आप देखिए व्हेन एवर दिस अ डेमोक्रेसी इन मिडिल ईस्ट इट क्रिटिसाइज देम एज द एक्सेस ऑफ इवल वो करेंगे इंडिया इन द वर्ल्ड में इट इज नॉट एट ऑल टू सेव डेमोक्रेसी यूएस डज नो एक चीज आप सब याद रखिएगा US does not like democracy outside its own. You must think that US like democracy. US does not like democracy outside its own. I'm thinking it now. We understand this in detail. India in the world, man. Chale nandales. So, clear that logic. Short note. Write it or.
छोड़ दो अच्छा चलो लिख लो लिखिए शॉर्ट नोट और एडलो जी क्या थी क्या थी 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 वाला अच्छा लेकिन शॉर्ट नोट ऑन इडलॉजी प्लीज राइट डाउन इडलॉजी वॉज कॉइंड शॉर्ट नोट ऑन इडलॉजी विद इडलॉजी लिखिए इडलॉजी वॉज कॉइंड एज द साइंस ऑफ आइडिया इडलॉजी वॉज कॉइंड एज द साइंस ऑफ आइडिया आइडिया बाय By hand, the name is Destude de Tracy. Uh, some French name is this. I don't know how to spell this. I call it Destude de Tracy. Was coined by Destude de Tracy to emphasize to emphasize on creating the society. To emphasize on creating a society based on based on scientific analysis, creating the society based on scientific analysis. Full stop. Next para. It was Karl Marx. It was Karl Marx who distinguished between. it was karl marx who distinguished between science of ideas inverted commas may please write who distinguished between science of ideas and set of ideas again inverted commas who distinguished between with inverted commas science of ideas and within again inverted commas set of ideas theek okay? hai full stop he emphasized he emphasized that his thinking he emphasized that his thinking is science of ideas he emphasized that his thinking is science of ideas and other thinkers other thinkers Science of ideas and other thinkers have created ideology, and other thinkers have created ideology. That is set of ideas. That is set of ideas. Full stop. Next para. Today, today, it is common among the scholars. to blame each other's theory it is common among scholars to blame each other's theory as ideology to blame each other's theory as ideology full stop clear next ab adding ab now on the main topic who was responsible for cold war नेक्स्ट लिखिए हु वॉज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कोल्ड वॉर तो कौन था रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कोल्ड वॉर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वेयर यू आर स्टैंडिंग कॉमन सेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल टूमोरो इफ आई से हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इंडिया हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर टेररिज्म इन इंडिया If you are Pakistani, you will say these are the Jammu Kashmiri people fighting for their own independence. If you are Indian, you will call them terrorists. Jaise Mohammed. Jaise Mohammed. We will call Jaise Mohammed terrorist, LTE terrorist. Terrorist, terrorist ka malik hai. Jo bhi ho, but we will call them terrorist. Pakistani ke liye they are not terrorist. The way Balochistan me people who are fighting, they are not terrorist for us. They are terrorist for Pakistan. Jaise Mohammed ka malik hai. Wo mujhe nahi pata kahan tha, but the but the point here is. that where you stand so us blame russia was responsible russia blame us was responsible because but basically realist says both were responsible according to realist scholar so who is responsible me russia says 
that us was responsible for the cold war why the question that naturally may come why us was responsible according to russia us initiated manhattan project without telling russia manhattan project was a project to develop nuclear weapons the name of the project was nuclear weapon project was manhattan jaise india ke project ka naam kya tha ha nahi aata Uh, operation smiling buddha number 1 number the second the operation shakti both are known as pokhran 1 and 2 pokhran is based on the place where the real name of the operation was operation smiling buddha 1970s 1998 operation shakti these were the two names so their name was manhattan project theek hai jaise hamara pokhran ho gaya to manhattan project mein they developed nuclear weapon jabki it was a betrayal us was with russia against hitler russia and us they were fighting from one side against hitler together they were fighting against hitler so when this happened russia feel betrayed ki bhai you develop nuclear weapon you did not tell me because usa told to uk and france but did not tell to ussr so it felt bad ki basically us trying to get distinct edge second thing usa took 2 years to open second front against germany In 1942, के आसपास, when Russia was under very pressure from U.S. soldiers, uh, uh, German soldiers, so USSR asked the U.S.A. please open second front so that the Germany has to move its soldier towards second front and some uh, some uh, pressure can be eased off over, over me. U.S.A. took two years to open second front, so it felt like in the eyes of Stalin and all these people, they thought that it was a deliberate attempt by U.S.A. that the uh, germany and ussr destroy each other so or be events hai like these events ek cheez samajh mein aati hai we understand ek theory hoti hai to make a sense out of these events same aap dekhenge usa blame karta hai russia ko usa blame russia that russia instituted something called as communist international the purpose of communist international was to install communism around the world to support every communist revolution the communist international was to support communist revolution then us russia on gunpoint introduced communism in eastern europe and sabse badi baat russia signed a pact with germany and japan Uh, the pact was Molotov Ribbentrop. I will dictate that. So under this pact, uh, the Russia U.S. started to feel that, boy, this is an attempt by USSR along with Germany to uh, to destroy U.S. I mean, to destroy what democracy and liberalism in the world. So different event. Why? How we can make sense out of it? So there were scholars who have made sense. So Russia blame U.S.A. for Cold War. US blame Russia for Cold War. We will blame both for Cold War because we are neither Russian nor US citizens. So we can blame both. Basic logic is realist. Realist explain that the Cold War was a natural outcome. Why? Because in the world you had two superpowers. And what realists say? Every country will pursue their national interest. So the two superpower pursuing their national interest. Are automatically will be at war. Baat ke liye na sabko, but really say, really say that the Cold War was a natural outcome of a bipolar world. In bipolar world, you had two powers, superpowers, and both powers will pursue their national interest, and in that national interest, they will take action, counter action, and reaction will happen, and that the reaction is Cold War. Ab liberals, you have to tell me liberals kya bolenge. common sense if you understand realism liberalism properly you can make out of make out a sense pata hai what liberals will be telling about this uh, war common sense is sochiye liberalism samajhte hain what is liberalism so what liberalism could have explained this they said that cold war was not real it was just a miscalculation misinterpretation and misactions liberal says this cold war was basically misinterpretation 
miscalculation and misreaction by both war, both countries to wohi to hai usa thought ki usa developed manhattan project to usa sa thought by this to destroy me you took two years to germany and then you threw nuclear weapon on japan jabki it was previously agreed ki japan pe second front will be opened by ussr usa and ussr agreed that the second front in japan will be opened by so we were understanding ki who blames to whom so russia blames usa because of these event like manhattan project nuclear weapon project two years to open second front against germany using nuclear weapon on japan when already they have agreed ki russia will open the front so usa us according to usa russia is responsible because it created communist international to spread communism around the world it installed communism at gun point on eastern europe because it had the army there it signed pact with germany and japan which usa thought ki is an attempt to destroy all the liberty in the world by fascist and communist coming together theek hai so these are the misinterpretation that is what realist and liberal says realist says they are two super power both aim to pursue their national interest and they were naturally bound to conflict but liberal kehte hai aisa kuch nahi hai they say this is because of misinterpretation of each other's action miscalculation of counter reaction and misreaction clear online people clear who is responsible argument कैसे सेम हुआ रियलिस्ट कह रहे हैं ये होना ही था रियलिस्ट कह रहे हैं इट इज डेस्टिंड बिकॉज टू सुपर पावर विल परसू दे नेशन दे आर डेस्टिंड टू गो फॉर दे कह रहे हैं ये गलती से हुआ गलती से हो गया बिकॉज देयर वाज मिस इंटरप्रिटेशन मिस कैलकुलेशन मिस रिएक्शन लिबरल्स कह रहे हैं दिस कोल्ड वॉर हैपन बिकॉज बोथ मिस इंटरप्रिटेड मिस कैलकुलेटेड मिस रिएक्टेड रियलिस्ट से ये तो होना ही था because both are pursuing national interest they are bound for a cold war ha hua hai usme kya to liberals sabhi to idealist hai liberals are idealist because they talk about things are happening because nobody wants them realist kya kehte hain ye to hoga because we want them dono mein intent ka farak hai baat samajh mein aa rahi hai dono mein intent ka farak hai bolo bolo you have a question i believe kya samajh nahi aaya isme ha डिस्टिंग्विश कैसे करूं बोलो रियलिज्म लिबरलिज्म में यही तो रियलिस्ट यही तो लिबरस कह रहे हैं कि ये नहीं होता अगर इफ दिस कंट्रीज वुड है सिक्योरिटी दिस कंट्रीज वुड है कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी सिक्योरिटी कम्युनिटी आपका फंक्शनल लिंकेजेस वो यही कह रहे हैं दे आर ब्लेमिंग बेसिकली रियलिस्ट दे से बिकॉज ऑफ योर स्टूपिडिटी योर असर्शन की नेशनल इंटरेस्ट इज प्राइम एथिक्स इज नथिंग मोरालिटी इज नथिंग बिकॉज ऑफ योर स्टूपिडिटी देर वॉज मिस इंटरप्रिटेशन मिस कैलकुलेशन मिस रिएक्शन कि ये नहीं होता इफ दिस कंट्री वुड हैव एक्सेप्टेड कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया गया बात हो रहा है कि वो कह बेसिकली लिबर्स कहते हैं देर कुड बी अ बेटर वर्ल्ड रियलिस्ट कहते हैं कैन नॉट बी अ बेटर वर्ल्ड ये है वो ही है दिस इज द रियलिटी जब तो रियलिस्ट कहलाते हैं रियलिस्ट आर द पीपल हु सी द वर्ल्ड एज इट इज लिबर्स आर द पीपल हु होप फॉर अ बेटर वर्ल्ड दैट्स दे आर नोन एज आइडलिस्ट बाय द रियलिस्ट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वर्ल्ड दैट कैन नॉट एग्जिस्ट क्लियर पीपल ऑनलाइन क्लियर एनी कंफ्यूजन टू एन यून माइंड तो क्विकली शल लेट एस राइट हम्म यस क्या थी काइंड ऑफ सोशल कंस्ट्रक्टिविज्म तो लेट एस राइट डाउन Yes. So, look. Everyone blame realist. Liberals blame realist. Social conservatives blame realist. Feminists blame realist. 
जितनी भी थ्योरी हमने पढ़ी ऑल द थ्योरी एक्सेप्ट रियलिज्म दे ऑल ब्लेम रियलिस्ट फॉर द ब्रोकन वर्ल्ड बट रियलिस्ट सेज हम वो बता रहे हैं जो है बट एक चीज एक फर्क समझिएगा रियलिस्ट मे अपीयर्स एज अ वॉर मॉन्ग्रर्स सुनने में तो वॉर मॉन्ग्रर सकते हैं बट रिमेंबर रियलिस्ट ने फेवर अ वॉर रियलिस्ट में अपीयर अगर आप इफ यू लुक एट द वर्ल्ड लेवल आउट ऑफ लिबल्स एंड रियलिस्ट हु मोर डैमेज एन दीज आर दिबल्स मोर डैमेज For example, U.S. attempts to install democracy at gunpoint. U.S. has invaded a lot of countries and destroyed their those economic those political system to install democracy. Because liberals, we have read about that. What? A theory, but it is not democratic peace theory. So liberals, if you see, have become justification for U.S. in a lot of U.S. invasions. The realist who appears like war mongers, but they are not, because realist says national interest is prime. they don't care about democracy they say go to afghanistan not to install democracy but to achieve your objective and leave afghanistan high and dry so realists never prefer a war they prefer a war as a last option but liberals are like install democracy you can achieve a peaceful world but some of the real life may liberals have caused more damage to the world than realists but nonetheless realists are the people who are blamed every second because wo national interest ki zyada baat karte hain nonetheless this is another view clear uh, all in people clear shall we write please write down uh, heading have you put any heading yes sir who are responsible for the corona okay within the side down according to usa according to usa russia was responsible according to usa russia was responsible because because of its actions because of its action before 1945 because of its action before 1945 five full stop uh, next para however however according to ussr dono likh lijiye ussr hi tha russia to 1991 mein banta hai but nonetheless ussr ko dominant was dominant by russia so it's up to you you can write both sense will make but uh, i will suggest ki as long as cold war we are talking about keep it ussr theek hai Uh, so what we have written however according to ussr usa was responsible yes sir usa was responsible because of its actions because of its actions full stop next para according to according to realist according to realist it was inevitable according to realist it was inevitable because the two superpowers because the two superpowers were competing to establish because two superpowers were competing to establish to establish their dominance over the world competing competing to establish their dominance over the world full stop establish their dominance over the world full stop next para however liberals criticize however liberals criticize the realist interpretation however liberals criticize the realist interpretation and argues and argues that the cold war was was the cold war was not inevitable 
the cold war was not inevitable because because it was an outcome of because it was an outcome of misinterpretation misinterpretation comma miscalculation misinterpretation comma miscalculation and misactions then full stop next click here subheading evolution of cold war next subheading evolution of cold war within this side on phase one evolution of cold war within this phase one put a hyphen pre cold war period phase one put a hyphen pre cold war period within bracket 1917 to 1945 1917 to 1945 तो इसमें वट एवर आई हैव डिस्कस दिस ऑल दिस वॉज प्री कोल्ड वॉर फेस इन दिस वर्ड हैपन इट स्टार्ट विद नाइनटीन सेवनटीन वाई बिकॉज नाइनटीन सेवनटीन में दे वॉज अ कॉम्युनिस्ट रिवोल्यूशन इन रशिया और यूएसएसआर लेट ऑन ही रशिया हैड अ कॉम्युनिस्ट रिवोल्यूशन रशिया हैड अ कॉम्युनिस्ट रिवोल्यूशन एंड आफ्टर दैट इट बिकेम यूएसएसआर इट इंटीग्रेटेड अ लॉट ऑफ रीजन आफ्टर दैट स्टालिन के टाइम पे भी सम कंट्रीज वो इंटीग्रेटेड तो यहां से क्या हुआ दे गॉट स्केर 1970 में कॉम्युनिज्म केम टू अ रियलिटी बिफोर 1917 कॉम्युनिज्म वाज एन आइडिया ओनली फर्स्ट टाइम इट बिकेम अ रियलिटी एंड द कैपिटलिस्ट सर्कल गॉट फियरफुल कि भाई कॉम्युनिज्म इन वन कंट्री कैन बी कॉम्युनिज्म इन अ लॉट ऑफ कंट्री एंड देन द एक्शन रशिया टुक रशिया डोमिनेटेड द एंटायर ईस्टर्न यूरोप एंड आफ्टर वॉर जब द वॉर कॉन्फ्रेंस टुक प्लेस टू डिसाइड द फ्यूचर ऑफ द यूरोप in that war conference russia was wanted to install the communism in this eastern european country ab uh, the countries like usa they were saying let them choose in this context you got the 1917 may the conference hui thi i told you can anyone tell me kaun se speech some speech i am referring to 1917 speech nahi aa rahi वुड्रो विल्सन अब ये मत बोलना प्लीज वुड्रो विल्सन भी किसी को याद नहीं वुड्रो विल्सन फोर्टीन पॉइंट स्पीच इन विच ही कॉइन द आइडिया ऑफ सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेशन हमें समझा था सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेशन आई होप एवरी वन रिमेंबर पीपल ऑनलाइन याद है सबको अश्विन ख्याति कौन है भाव्यांशी रोहिणी शीतल this was the context because 1917 mein you got uh, you got uh, russian revolution communism came in 1918 mein first world war ended after the second world war was going on so they were fearful that russia can install communism in this context they tried to propagate they used the idea of self determination they said after 1945 they said ki sorry 1945 at, at 1945 they said you may be dominating eastern europe we are dominating western europe let the europe choose its life self determination okay keep this in mind it was a political idea because they knew that these country will inevitably adopt democracy unhe pata tha if chance is given to the people of europe they will choose democracy that's why they were saying use self determination agar unhe pata hota if they were sure ki these countries will adopt communism to kabhi nahi kehte Understand like this: you always take a high moral position. IR me, you always take a high moral position when you know you will win. अगर आपको पता है that by taking a high moral position you may lose your significance, you may not take it. That terrorism me क्या होता? Terrorism me why we take the highest moral position? Because we know if terrorism is outlawed, then we are the beneficiary. अब imagine कीजिए we would be a country exporting terrorism to the world. would be agree to such a policy that ends terrorism in the world kabhi nahi because national interest is prime as really says to base usa talked about self determination because it knew that the eastern european country if given a chance will adopt democracy over communism 
अब रशिया बात समझ गया था रशिया वॉज वेरी एंग्री एंड रशिया सेट नहीं ये नहीं चलेगा लेट मी एंड आई विल सॉल्व कॉम्युनिज्म एट गन पॉइंट अल्टीमेटली ईस्टर्न यूरोप बिकेम कॉम्युनिज्म हाउ एवर स्टालिन डिक्लेयर्ड उसके बाद इनसिक्योरिटी बिकेम फर्दर मोर कैसे चाइना देखिए दिस ऑल आर वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री इवेंट्स ठीक है वी आर जस्ट इंटरप्रेटिंग देम फॉर आई आर सबको समझ में आ रहा है दिस ऑल वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री and then we know what happened china me communism comes the western countries became even more insecure ki bhai ye kya ho raha hai another country got communism then most insecurity was when cuba me communism came cuba is at the backyard of usa the way is aise samjhiye if tomorrow bangladesh adopt maoism maoism chinese variety of communism is maoism kal uh, mao zedong's idea If Bangladesh adopt Maoism, so we will be equally scared. So that how US got scared, and uh, Russia even said Stalin was the president in USSR at that point of time. He even said he gave the slogan "Communism in one country." He said, "I am not looking to export communism," but USA did not agree. USA said, "No, boy, you want to export communism." Clear that this is pre Cold War. Oh, sorry, pre Cold War, and Cold War starts properly at 1945. Clear everyone. अरे कहाँ से देखा हेलो? People online, are you there? Am I audible? ठीक है. so we have to start so yahan tak dekhiye pre cold war tak this part i will not dictate evolution wala because it is already in the notes so you can go and reference there but we will write a few lines here here and there okay so next we had pre cold war was done 1945 tak particularly pre cold war phase first cold war hum jise bolte hain ye cold war phase 1 that starts with 1945 and the event was fulton speech What was the Fulton speech? No, no. So, in 1946, me, what happened is 1945. That we have understood. There were some events which were taken. Uh, the एक्शन काउंटर रिएक्शन और पूरी कोल्ड वॉर अगर आप इफ यू लुक ऑब्जर्व ना इट इज नथिंग बियॉन्ड एक्शन एंड काउंटर रिएक्शन एंड द फर्स्ट असर्शन कम फुल टन स्पीच दैट वॉज दैट वॉज वुड्रो विंसन सॉरी विंसन चर्चिल वुड्रो विंसन नहीं विंसन चर्चिल विंसन चर्चिल गेव अ स्पीच इन फुलटन is known as fulton college something that so it is known as fulton speech in this he talked about something called as cold war kaise he said that uh, you, that uh, russia has enacted or ussr has enacted an iron curtain what was iron curtain if you see europe jo tha europe was divided on the eastern europe ussr dominated it installed communism on the western europe it was divided in between from germany germany was also divided among the victor powers so you had on the western germany you had com- uh, capitalism on the eastern germany you had communism and this wall that was created this this, this is something uh, which is still called as iron curtain that russia has enacted iron curtain and it urged usa it urged usa to take the lead क्वेश्चन ही आता है दिस इज द पॉइंट दैट इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम टैक्स ब्रिटिकाना टू पैक्स अमेरिकाना व्हाट इज पैक्स ब्रिटिकाना पैक्स ब्रिटिकाना मीन्स द वर्ल्ड कैन लिव विथ पीस अंडर द शेडो ऑफ ब्रिटेन it is a god sent mission of the britain to install democracy uh, uh, to civilize the world pax americana means the world can live under the shadow of america as the sovereign or superpower clear 
तो पैक्स बेटिकाना got convert into pax americana the question may comes is why because britain was no longer a super power after second before second world war britain was a super power it had empire around the world it was said that sun does not set on british empire it was so big but after second after second world war it was no longer a super power and it was so tired and greedy it was so tired and weak it did not want to be a world power it willingly chose america america was willingly chose chosen by the western europe as the leader and at that point of time this pax vaticana to pax americana switch is hum bolte hain truman doctrine upsc mein i think 2014 or 15 mein question aaya tha who is x and what was his foreign policy क्वालिफाइंग कर दिया है इससे नुकसान आप लोगों का हो जाएगा ना यूपीएससी वालों का एक्चुअली ऑप्शनल का सबसे ज्यादा एडवांटेज उठाते हैं यूपीएससी वाले द पीपल आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी दे प्रिपेयर ऑप्शनल वेरी वेल एंड स्टेट्स में दे ऑलवेज स्कोर हाई मार्क्स ऑप्शनल में नहीं वही मैं कह रहा हूं ऑप्शनल पे यू प्रिपेयर वेरी वेल और यूपीएससी वालों को डिस्टिंक्ट एज मिलता है स्टेट सर्विसेज में लेकिन बिकॉज अब दैट्स व्हाई देयर इज अ डिमांड बाय द स्टेट द पीपल हु prepare for state pcs only they do not prepare for upsc they want they they want optional to be removed so they say aapko advantage milta hai they don't like this they say they already dominate upsc dominated by english speakers and then they take away our jobs also in state pcs theek hai so who is mr x and uh, what was his foreign policy kon hai mr x this is george kennan actually this question came and nobody expected this question to come aisa kon puchta who is mr x theek hai <laughs> mr x could be anyone actually in international relation x is known as george kennan he was the diplomat he was a diplomat of us in uh, i think russia mein or somewhere he was posted and he sent a telegram known as long telegram he sent a telegram to the us saying that the ussr is preparing itself for a war and you should take counter measures right now so his foreign policy initiated cold war basically he was a prime person to cold war ma samajh mein aa rahi hai sabko what was george kennan's role and that's how us starts yahan tak samajh mein aaya so us starts something called as after george kennan letter two man doctrine comes in so two event hote hain hamare 1945 ke baad number one is the fulton speech of uh, vincent churchill where he says that russia has enacted an iron curtain dividing the europe into two parts then george kennan sent a telegram to the us president and says that russia is preparing itself for a big war spread of communism spread of values deleting uh, capitalism from the face of the earth basically in that context truman was the president he initiated truman doctrine it was a replacement to it was a replacement of you know, what was his name munre doctrine yes it was a replacement of munre doctrine let us understand what it is usa never actively participated in the world affairs for a long 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 time when us got independence in 19 uh, 1776 1776 july 1776 if i am not wrong uh, so in after that usa for a long time did not participate in the world affairs what was the reason the reason was usa said i want a peaceful rise ye har country ne kiya agar aap notice kare na after a successful revolution all countries have gone in isolation for a long time the india india gone for isolation for 50 50 years nahi 50 kitna hua ha 50 ho gaya 
India, for example, 1947, we got independence. And after that, we adopted Nehru Mahali Nobu strategy. We adopted closed economy. For uh, 1991, we remained a closed economy, 40 years. Lagbar. So similarly, USA also adopted Munna Doctrine. It has two components. Number one component, that any attempt, any attempt by any foreign power in Americas will be a direct threat to US national interest. What it said, Munir of time was he after independent after getting independence from Britain, US adopted Munir of time, which says that any attempt by any foreign powers to capture anything in America, because at that point of time, the European powers were basically making colonies around the world. The so USA said any European power who comes to Americas, both North and South America, it will be considered that they are attacking US national interest and US will repel such mean by all power possible. Ye tha external component. The internal component of doctrine was closed economy. USA adopted the policy of isolation. USA said I will not participate in world affairs and for a long time USA did not participate in the world affair. It developed itself from inside. So clear what is Munir doctrine? Online people, clear? Okay. So after this, for the first time, look, you have noticed that even World War One, the US did not directly participate. In. World War One, the US provided economic assistance. Well, it did trade because the capitalist country and capitalists always take advantage of situations. So it took the advantage, but it did not partic participate directly. Direct attack never happened on US soil. In Second World War, Japan for the first time carried out a direct attack on US soil, Pearl Harbor. Pahli was attack was So it never part. It always participated economically by providing military weapons, jo bhi tha, but active military participation was not there. It started first time in Second World War when its Pearl Harbor was attacked. After that, the Cold War starts and it changes the policy of Truman. So Truman means what? Active containment of communism. So Truman policy, Truman doctrine was a replacement of Munra doctrine in US foreign policy. And USA adopted the leadership of the capitalist world and decided that it will fight with communism. Clear sabko what was Truman doctrine? as a part okay so ye tha hamara truman doctrine as a part of two of truman doctrine when the us now becomes the leader of the capitalist world to actively contain communism us starts ab dekhiye isme ek cheez samjhiye uh, communism is basically an ideology of the poor but the irony with communism is it can be understood by the intellectuals. Problem kya hai communism ke saath? It's an ideology of the poor, but understood by the intellectuals. Communism samajhne ke liye you need to be literate. Sabhi samajh paate. Communism is not easy to understand. Capitalism is very easy to understand. Profit sabko samajh mein aata hai. I have a market. I want to make a shoe. Even a, there are so many petty burjuas you have. Even a, even a tea sailor is a burjua. That person is trying to, he understand that if I sell this tea for 20 rupees, I will get 10 rupee profit. So the thing is, capitalism is easily understood. The ramifications are not, of course. Co to understand communism, you require a certain level of intellectual understanding. Okay. So that was the thinking. Rohini, let me again repeat two minutes after. Munra doctrine was isolation. After getting independence, USA adopted isolation from world affairs. It said, I will not participate in world affairs. I will develop myself. Chiri si baat hai. 
that happened cool the truman doctrine was based on two things pella george cannon's telegram they said that russia is preparing itself we should prepare also and second was vincent churchill's fulton speech both basically talked about that russia is the new aggressor trying to spread communism and if we really want to protect capitalism then you must become the leader both may they urged us to become the leader at that point of time truman was the president so he changed us policy from isolation to active participation us took the leadership of capitalism and decided to fight for the capitalists against the communism ab clear ho rahi hai theek hai as a part of this that i was discussing communism at that point of time at that point of time there was a thinking among the capitalist scholars they believed that communism is an ideology of the poor which it is basically so they believed that communism thrives only in deprivation and because of this thinking they instituted something called as marshall plan yahan tak baat clear hui so what happened 1945 ke baad uh, you had pre war mein event that i talked about that stalin wala jo bhi manhattan project nuclear weapon wagera wagera and then after independence the usa becomes the leader of the capitalist world against ussr uh, ussr and there was a thinking among the us uh, scholars that communism is a poor people's ideology and it works in deprivation means if they are poor hungry malnourished they will try to fight for communism so they instituted marshall plan and the purpose of marshall plan was rapid development of the western europe and it worked usa put billions and billions of dollars you support billions and billions of dollar in the western europe because of this there was a stark difference the western europe was developed it was a progressive values liberty equality there are a lot of things they uh, in western people enjoyed but the eastern europe did not enjoy this ab it was a humiliation for cap communism because communism is supposed to be pro poor सबको बात समझ में आ रही है ना कॉम्युनिज्म इज सपोज टू बी प्रो पुअर इट टॉक्स अबाउट द प्लोरिटेरियट इट सेज दैट इफ यू वांट टू एंजॉय अ गुड लाइफ रिवोल्ट अगेंस्ट द कैपिटलिस्ट बट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मार्शल प्लान थिंग्स रिवर्स्ड द कैपिटलिस्ट कंट्री वर प्रॉस्परस द वेस्टर्न जर्मनी वाज हाईली प्रॉस्परस विद अवे ईस्टर्न जर्मनी ईस्टर्न जर्मनी में देयर वाज हाई पॉवर्टी एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड एवरीथिंग वेस्टर्न जर्मनी में देयर वाज हाई प्रॉस्पेरिटी गुड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड एवरीथिंग so it was a humiliation for what communism ussr instituted plan molotov as a counter to marshall plan they institute molotov plan iska purpose tha to invest in eastern europe so that they do not urge or leech over the marshall plan semi work i would say kyunki molotov plan mein ussr helped them यहां तक बताइए सबको क्लियर एंड सेकंड पॉइंट फिर आपको पता है दिस वाज़ द इकोनॉमिक पार्ट दैट सेकंड पार्ट वाज़ वी ऑल नो सेकंड पार्ट वाज़ नेटो नेटो वाज़ क्रिएटेड एज अ कलेक्टिव व्हाट इज नेटो इट इज अलायस फुल फॉर्म मुझे पता है कंसेप्ट पूछ रहा हूं व्हाट इज नेटो concepts of i ip we did sir uska neto hukum sir nahi neto hukum defense yes ashwin collective defense yes chati you are also right collective defense against nato <laughs> against nato ussr instituted warsaw pact 
against USSR, USA in uh, USSR instigated Warsaw Pact. It was also a collective reference pact. Ha, Polish capital. Warsaw Pact. It is it was a collective defense pact. NATO, jo hai, it was by Washington TT. If I remember correctly, it was a Washington TT. So there were two sides. There was quid pro, the tit for tat going on. This is Cold War. You create Marshall Plan, I will create Molotov. You create NATO, I will create Warsaw. And this tit for tat goes on for a long time, basically. <clears throat> इसी टाइम में अगर आप नोटिस करेंगे तो इसी टाइम में यू हैड वॉर्स जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इसी विद इन दिस टाइम यू हैड वॉर्स लाइक कम्युनिज्म इन चाइना चाइना बिकेम अ कम्युनिस्ट कंट्री यूएसए गॉट इन सिक्योर कोरियन वॉर वाज आल्सो एन आउटकम ऑफ दिस एंड प्लीज कीप इन माइंड कोरियन वॉर हैजंट एंडेड येट मैंने शायद पहले बताया आई हैव नो आईडिया कोरियन वॉर एंड देखिए वॉर एंड्स व्हेन द कंट्री इज वॉरिंग दे ऑफिशियली प्रोक्लेम Korean War hasn't ended yet because USA has not proclaimed the end of Co Korean War. Korean War is currently in an armistice state. UN operationalized. At UN, we will do it again. Actually, UN intervened, and as because of that, there was an armistice agreement. So currently, there is a peace agreement. North Korea and South Korea is still at war with each other, and that is what North Korea wants. Kim Jong Un wants that USA officially proclaim. That the co that the Korean War has ended, which USA will never do. Why? What a politician! Get a little thought. Think like a scholar, no, political not, scholar. North Korea wants that USA officially proclaim, that the official proclamation, that the Korean War has ended. No, But why USA will not do that? Think like a political scholar, no, if not a scholar. No, think like politician. Yeah. वॉर नहीं हो रहा है मैं कह रहा हूँ वॉर अभी तक एंड नहीं हुआ है कोरियन वॉर इज इज हैजेंट एंडेड येट प्रॉपरली अरे सोचो इफ यू वुड बी अ पॉलिटिशियन ऑफ यूएसए व्हाई वुड व्हाई वुड यू नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज द रीजन इज पॉलिटिक्स ऑलवेज टेक्स प्लेस इन फॉल्ट लाइंस याद रखिएगा ये बात फॉल्ट लाइंस आई वॉन्ट यू टू वोट फॉर मी सो आई हैव टू फाइंड अ फॉल्ट लाइन अगर नहीं है तो बनानी पड़ेगी Politics is that. Politics always works on fault line in the societies. Fault line. Up. Is that something? For example, uh, Hindu Muslim. When you polarize, if for example, I want votes of all Muslims. So what I will do? I will intentionally create a right. जो आपका paper one में आपका जो India वाला section है paper one में वहाँ पे कराया जाता है social movements में writing में India के problems में. That there is a theory, Paul Brass's theory, which says that Hindu-Muslim violence in India are not spontaneous phenomena; they are political programs. They are created. It's a fayda kya hota? For example, I want all Muslim vote. So, what will I do? I will intentionally create a Hindu riot, or I will intentionally create a lynching. Is se kya hoga? Because of that lynching event, the Muslim community will get fearful, and they all will vote for me. Same other side chalta hai. If I want to fear for whether the Hindu khatre me hai, I have, I believe you have heard this word. Uh, the BJP and their party talk about Hindu khatre me. So it's a fault line. I want to convince you that if you will not vote for me, then you are in danger. That was experimented in Delhi. Delhi election when took place, uh, there was a particular person. He said to all the Hindus, he said, if you are Hindu, vote for Modi ji because currently Modi ji is the prime minister. He can save you. If you vote for the other party, then the Muslims will come and rape your daughters. ऐसा कुछ हुआ? नहीं जीते मोदी जी दिल्ली में? ऐसा कुछ नहीं हुआ? But देखिए, I always say politics does not runs on reality. It runs on ideas and propagandas. So in this, they wanted to project that there is a fault line. Accept this. So for fault line, so up, take it to international level. What is happening? North Korea. May if USA recognize North Korea. Or the war has ended. It means North and South Korea are two different countries now. What's the nuksan? Kya hoga? Nuksan ye hoga that USA cannot use this excuse to instigate a war. Man, local US wants to instigate a war to unify Korea. I think Russia, China, China never wants Korea to unify because unified Korea means. लार्ज पॉसिबिलिटी है दैट इट विल बिकम साउथ कोरिया साउथ कोरिया इज अ मॉडर्न लिबलाइज कंट्री सो नॉर्थ कोरिया मे बी इंटीग्रेटिंग साउथ कोरिया द एंटायर कोरिया मे बी मे बिकम यूएस प्रोडिजी 
and if it is us prodigy then china will hate us soldier on its border so you got the point intentionally north korea and south korea man nobody wants friendship china does not want friendship because if there is a friendship then china will lose relevance for north korea and usa does not want friendship because if there is a friendship between north korea and south korea then usa will lose its relevance for south korea why would south korea allow us to put its missiles in its territory if there is a friendship between north korea and south korea the missiles that usa has put in south korea they are against north korean nuclear weapons बात समझ में आती है दैट्स व्हाई ऑलवेज से इंडिया को डिवाइड करने में वर्ल्ड पावर्स का हाथ था बिकॉज दे डिड नॉट वॉन्टेड यूनिफाइड इंडिया दे न्यू यूनिफाइड इंडिया मीन्स अ नेक्स्ट सुपर पावर एंड नो बडी वॉन्ट्स अ सुपर पावर इंडिया वॉज इंटेंसली डिवाइडेड इन टू इंडिया इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान सो दैट दे कीप ऑन फाइटिंग विद ईच अदर एंड दे विल नेवर बिकम द नेक्स्ट सुपर पावर बात समझ आ रही है तो दिस इज हाउ फॉल्ट लाइन वर्क तो यहाँ पे क्या हुआ टिट कुट प्रो क्यू चाइना में कॉम्युनिज्म Korean War, Vietnam War is the same example. Vietnam War में the North was dominated by the communist, the South was dominated by the capitalist. Ultimately, the communist won and the entire Vietnam got unified. Clear है सबको the event of uh, this Cold War phase one. So any question you have, please ask. Our time is already over. Again, look at this. All are historical events which you will anyway read in world history. but we are just interpreting them into political sense what was the politics behind history i believe sabko ye baat to pata hi hai politics is nothing more than his, oh sorry history is nothing more than politics whatever is today's politics will be tomorrow's history uske alawa kuch nahi hota bataiye koi question people online any question to anyone please tell me नहीं है चलिए विद दैट नोट वी शैल स्टॉप टुडे एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू आर जर्नी ऑफ कोल्ड वॉर इट्स अ तो बिग टॉपिक तो थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा चलिए हैव अ नाइस डे एवरीवन वी विल मीट टुमारो यस वेरी वेलकम अश्विन